so before we go into the, what, is the, what BRCA genes are, let's talk for a moment about this body that we live in. It's estimated that we have anywhere from 60 to 100 trillion cells or more in our body. And they are in a constant state of renewal, which is why we have new retinas every 48 hours. We have new um, lining to our colons every three days. We have new skin every six weeks. We have new livers every six months. So basically, every year we have a new body. Not everything, but for the most part. Um, so if you can imagine that these cells are in a continual state of renewal, um, how is it that mistakes aren't made? Well, it's not that mistakes are made. What happens is the, uh, the environment in which the cells find themselves becomes, be, becomes toxic. It becomes, you accumulate toxins because you don't see mutations occurring uh, in vibrant health. Okay, so when the, when the cells are swimming in a sea of toxins, we, what, we, we get some breaks in the DNA, and plus, just rapid um, uh, renewal of cells can at times cause breaks in the DNA. When a double-stranded DNA is broken, in other words, both strands in the DNA are broken, that's where these BRCA genes come in, and they repair them. So everyone has BRCA genes, okay? So if someone says, do you have the BRCA genes? Say, I hope so. Okay. The reason they're called BRCA genes is because in 1990 and 1994, they were named. And you can only speculate on why they were named breast cancer 1 and breast cancer 2. These are genes that are located on the uh, 17th and 13th chromosomes. What's a gene? A gene is what you inherit from either parent and it's uh, on a chromosome, and it is the code for a protein. Most proteins produced in the body, a lot of them are structural, but most proteins are enzymes. We have a, a lot of enzymes. And enzymes are how life happens. Other than some of the basic fundamentals of physical chemistry and physical laws, such as diffusion, which, hap which happens everywhere, um, everything else that happens in the body is uh, due to enzymes. Okay, it's enzymatic. And these enzymes are produced pretty rapidly. And enzymes work pretty quickly. Just to give you an idea, there's an enzyme called catalase in our cells. And it, it does what it does. It, does the re it performs the reaction it performs at over a million times per second. That's how quickly these things are. So that's the rate at which all this sort of thing is happening. And th so when we have a... Uh, uh, a break in two strands, they're repaired by not only the BRCA genes, but a whole set of enzymes. So having a double mutation in either the one or the two, or both, is only the first step. That's not enough. That's not sufficient for cancer. That's where it begins. Okay? So by naming it breast cancer one and breast cancer two, you can see where that took us. It took us to this moment where we're now going to have large sales. If you look at this from that perspective, there's going to be large sales in surgery and, and testing. Now, um, Myriad Genetics just lost um, its uh, uh, claim that it could patent it. There's a Supreme Court decision uh, pretty recently which said that we cannot, which everyone knew by common sense, you cannot patent it, you should not be able to patent a gene because it's a, a naturally occurring thing. But they, they tried and got away with it for a few years and now they won't. So perhaps the testing will come will be lowered, which will actually be a misfortune because it, more people will get tested and more people will undergo, undergo uh, prophylactic surgeries and prophylactic medications. They're having people take uh, tamoxifen and other um, uh, patented drugs to prevent it. Okay, okay. Let's look at how these genes are, are, are inherited. Um, they're inherited um, uh, it's called autosomal dominant in genetics is the is the is how it's inherited which means that any child has equal risk of inheriting it 50 percent if one of the parents uh, has it they have the 50 percent chance of inheriting it whether they're male or female okay and if we look at the literature on this on this uh, 
uh, on the cancers that are, have increased risk if you have this. Um, by the way, it's all nonsense, but uh, I just want to tell you, it's not only breast and ovaries, it's colon. It's laryngeal, your voice box. It's stomach. It's pancreas. So if you have prophylactic organ organectomies, we're just going to get your head, put it in a maybe your genitals, head, genitals, arms, and we'll put it in a saline solution with nutrients and just keep you alive. You can try to get along without your body. I said that for the absurdity of it all. Okay, I could get skin cancer, so I'm gonna have my skin removed. By the way, melanomas are an increased, there's an increased risk for melanomas with it. So, as you can see, if you keep going with this, you're gonna have to have everything removed. And being told that you have an 87%, which is what she was told by her doctors, you have an 87% risk of getting it, she has, because of her, her, uh, her mother and her, uh, her, and her mother's sister, um, is, well, I'll let you decide on that. Here's what has to happen. You, you inherit the one, it's called a germline inherent, in, uh, inheritance. Um, so one of your parents had it. It's passed on, you got it. So every cell in your body has it, but that's only one of the genes because you got another set from your other parent. By the way, it's not X chromosome related, so the fact that her mother had it and her auntie had it is no more different than if her, uh, whether it was maternal versus paternal. They're the same. Okay, so she got, you got the one that you inherited. In order for this to be a defect, in order for this to cause a problem, you got to have both which means you still have to have what's called the somatic mutation. You're going to have to, down the road, get another mutation. And if you get it in your ovaries, if you get it in your breast, if you get it in your pancreas, depends on where you get it. And they say, we don't know why this happens. Well, I don't know why. You don't know why it happens. I want to make it clear that you need to get that second mutation, and that second mutation is environmental. What they, so if we look at the fact that it's occurring in Ashkenazi Jews, why don't we also look at what are Ashkenazi Jews eating? How are they living? And now it's, get, now it's in people that are not of Ashkenazi Jewish heritage. And so what are they eating? And that's what we have to keep in mind. We have to realize what are they eating, how are they living their lives, and all that sort of thing. Because there's a risk, what, 1 out of 12, that's about 13%, 1 out of 11, 13% uh, of women will get can breast cancer anyway, without BRCA gene. Right? And anyone, a male over 60, what, I have like 80% chance of having uh, prostate cancer. But I'm not going to, uh, that, 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 it's not a chance. We talk about it as being chance. It's not chance. It's everything that happens in nature is a direct result of some process. It occurs by natural law. Things don't just happen. You know, nothing spontaneously happens. It's the result of, of a set of, of, of circumstances that permit this, that produce this. Okay, so um, if you're born with BRCA genes and other genes, that other mutations, and they're on one side of, the, uh, of, of your DNA and in the gene you only, from one parent, and you don't, and you live a healthy lifestyle, you can't, and there's not going to be any soma, uh, somatic mutations, and no somatic mutations, no increased risk. But even if you do have them, please keep in mind that all you have to do is the same thing you would do if you had cancer. Why is it that we have people come here with cancer and they already have it, they change their lives and it goes away. Okay? So this goes back to the, to the thing that we always try to keep, have people understand when they come here. That that which is required to be restored to health, the same is required to maintain health. So, before you get anything cut off prophylactically, give me a call. <laughs>